Sophia here from MyGreatChallenge.blogspot.com and today I'm going to show you what I received in my February 2014 Echo Emmy box. I've already opened it, I have not tried the products yet except maybe for one lip balm but you know I'll talk to you about this in a minute. It came in with a purple, yay, favorite color and a green you know wrap thing and here's the card with some purple on it. I have to say that this was not one of the better boxes. There were some items in there that was just kind of like, eh, you know, what's the point? Uh, but anyway, this is what it looked like. And without further ado, I'm just going to go straight in. First item um, in the box are these Good Light Natural Candles. And I really did not know what to think about this. These are Tea Light Candles by Good Light Natural Candles. The six pack is $2.00 and 49 cents and just as a reminder Echo Emi is $15 a month so we can deduct that um, these are made of 100% palm wax and pure cotton wick which creates a warm and inviting atmosphere without the harmful fumes so I believe that a couple of videos ago I talked about um, an article I read that came out of the UK and there was a, a follow-up article I'm sorry the dogs are barking in the back um, there was a follow-up article in one of my French magazines about toxic fumes coming from scented candles and if you look at that video and I believe it was my Echo Emmy either from January or the December Echo Emmy box I know that there's a lot of talk right now about whether scented candles are good for you or not and I've always kind of figured that unless they are natural scents like essential oils or things like this if there's anything artificial when the fumes get in your atmosphere or in the air that you breathe that can possibly be good for you and there's a movement right now that I know of in France about banning scented candles that are coming directly from China and it's probably because they put formaldehyde and all the very toxic ingredients inside the candles I guess either for consistency or um, maybe it's for duration I'm not sure but the bottom line is that natural candles like soy wax candles or beeswax candles are always a better choice so I've have uh, since I've read this article I've kind of limited my use of scented candles. I still love my Bath and Body Works candles. Right now I purchased some from um, what was it? I guess it was the January semi-annual sale and there was a lot of the uh, the Christmas candle ones um, that were on uh, on sale. So I purchased some of those. I'm still using them but sporadically. I used to have scented candles all over the place in my house but now I'm only using them like maybe one in the living room and you know with the movement of folks in and out of the place um, it usually kind of like spread the scent throughout and then it moves up to the second floor and that's really all I need I don't have to have candles all over make sense of things like this just because right now we're in the middle of winter and it's bad enough that we can't open the windows because it's so cold so cold here in northern New Jersey I mean we've had like some crazy temperatures in the teens sometimes below zero I mean it's just insane so the house has not been vented properly in the last few weeks I guess maybe a month or so I'm being very careful with you know what kind of air I let circulate in the house so these are cool they're not scented um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them right away I'm probably gonna have a need for them so they're gonna go not in my junk drawer but in my candle box down in the basement for the emergency uh, stuff you know where I keep the batteries and the flashlights and extra candles for when we do have a power outage so yeah I mean it's great um, was I like completely wowed by this no but you know it's a good thing to have so that was that um, the next one is this Aubrey new style organic hairspray and I have to say that I've used Aubrey in the past I found out a couple of years ago that I am allergic to nickel in shampoo and hair dye products and that was one of the reasons why other than my thyroid issue that I was uh, losing hair and you know itchy scalp and whatnot so I went to the uh, dermatologist they did the patch on your back you know with a whole bunch of products and they found out that I was allergic to nickel and they were they recommended for me to use Aubrey shampoos which are really really expensive I buy them when I buy them at um, 
I guess it's at Whole Food. Yeah, I buy them at, you know, the natural product section, um, cosmetic section of Whole Food supermarkets. So I buy their shampoos and conditioner once in a while. I don't use them all the time only because they are expensive. I think a shampoo is like $9, but the bottle is about this big. And I tend to use the conditioner much more than I use the shampoo. So I'm always running out of conditioner before I run out of the shampoo. So for financial reason, I'm not necessarily using um, Aubrey all the time, but the um, hairspray itself for five ounces is $9.95. And it's pretty much the ranges of um, prices that you would see for any all Brie products towards the $10 line. So, organic hairspray is infused with quinoa proteins that add body as well as smooth hair fibers to eliminate frizzing. It is USDA, NOP certified organic. You got to shake it well before you use it. Now again, I haven't used it. I don't usually use hairspray only because my hair is kind of curly naturally and, and if I do Put any kind of a hold on them they just like won't move I, I don't like that look so I like more of a little bouncy uh, thing but smells beautiful the smell I guess it's more of a uh, I don't know there's like some kind of spearmint in it maybe sandalwood something like this but very nice definitely gonna try this I like the brand by the way this is all made in the US and the candle is also no aha uh -huh. The candle was responsibly, um, the candle is responsibly made in China. So, I don't know, we just talked about stuff that comes out of China. I'm still gonna use them when I need to have uh, those little tea lights. The Aubrey hairspray is um, made in the US. Aubrey is an American company and they've been around for quite some time. So, it's a brand that I trust. I'm looking forward to using their hairspray even though I don't necessarily use hairspray. Um, then there was this little bag right here. There's always a little patch thing, and these are great, by the way, because if you need to travel and put some jewelry um, in a bag, or you know, even if you have like a, a stocking stuffer gift or whatnot, these are really, really cute. And this one actually is pretty. It's very uh, uh, Easter kind of look, and it has those three items. Let me open the first one, and the first one is this Loving Recovery Beta Glucan Mask by Blissoma Lavish Face Mask by Blissoma, two ounces, $33.99. This is a little bit expensive for face max and two ounces is not a lot of mask, I can tell you that. Great for dry and stressed skin, lavish mask contains a combination of anti-reactive herbs, restorative oils, and, and kupuaku butter that helps rebuild skin from dip within. Use once or twice a week to help remove fine lines. Very excited about this. I've had Blissoma products before um, in my Ecoemi. I think that I've reviewed them as being pretty, pretty good. It doesn't say on the sample here whether it's made in the US, but I believe they, they are, and they probably are available on Etsy as well. But you know, I'll, you'll have to check my blog spot, and the link will be below to get more information about this. Now, when it comes to the scent, it, it has a faint smell. Um, I'm not sure if I can place it, but it's definitely um, like an herb type scent, but it's not strong. So the texture itself is pretty nice and smooth. I don't think that this is gonna come out as a colored matte, opaque type of mask. Um, again, $33.99 for two ounces. I have a tendency to apply a little bit more product when I put a mask on, so I think it's a little bit expensive. But again, I have to try it first and then I'll let you know whether or not it's worth the money. I doubt it because $33.99 again for a mask. And if you have to do it twice a week, I think that after three weeks you're probably done with the entire product. But anyway, so that was the Blissoma mask. The next one is a lip balm that I already tried and it's the Jersey Shore Sun vegan nutrient dense lip conditioner and this one has see the spearmint over here or is it peppermint i'm not sure um winter mint is the name of it and it smells absolutely divine if you like mint gum this is exactly the smell I mean, it's just a copycat smell um, i tried it when i received the box it's a good lip balm it really is it conditions it tastes great which may be a problem because when the lip balm tastes good you do have a tendency to go like this and chew on it and then um you know you're losing the product but 
this one smells beautiful it does provide a nice coverage it's very soothing it's very um, emollient uh, vegan lip balm by Jersey Shore Sun a lip balm is five dollars so this is a full size already um, earth friendly cruelty free and winter mint fragrance this is a lip balm that cannot get any better it has anti-aging properties that are gentle enough to use on other areas of the face making great for winter sports and traveling so now if you read don't go to the cosmetic counter without me and I believe that's Paula and I can't remember her last name um, she's always talking about the use of essential oils for your face and one of the things she said not to use would be like comfrey and lavender and things like this and I'm pretty sure that she says that don't put anything mint on your face so I'm not sure if I would use this from my lips to let's say um, a dry patch on my skin I don't think this would be very hygienic so I like multi-use products but I'm putting it on my lips I don't know why I would want to put it like let's say on my eye or something like this and it's an essential oil it seems to be very very strong so I'm not sure if this is something I would want to use on my face but again as a lip balm beautiful and it's coming at the right time because I just finished my EOS um, lip balm so yeah I have a new lip balm to use and the next one is this Lauren Brook um, cosmetic little thing here and this is an eyelash conditioner by Lauren Brook Cosmetic. The full size tube is $10. And this great product is made with vitamins, herbs, and extracts that will help feed and protect your lashes. Gently use this lash conditioner at night after washing off your mascara. Leave on for 20 minutes or throughout the night if desired. Use three times per week to promote longer, healthier lashes. So now, I'm really excited about this only because, and it's not because I need to um, do something about my lashes. I have very good lashes. I've been blessed with that. They're very long and naturally curvy. So I don't really need conditioner, but I'm interested in using this. Um, it seems to be like something I would want to try. It's got organic safflower oil, organic olive oil, organic yojoba oil, things like this. And as far as the smell, mm, it smells very good. It has a, uh, um, like a citrus smell. I don't know if there's citrus in it. Orange, haha, <laughs> see, this got some orange in it. So it smells really, really good. It feels thick. I have not tried it. Excited to try it. Um, if it says that you gotta remove it after 20 minutes or you have the option to leave it on, I probably think this is something that you have to remove. But if I'm going to bed with this, do I really want to get up 20 minutes afterwards to try to remove something? Um, I don't know. I have to figure it out and, and try it next is this tube right here and it's um, um hummus dip and i love hummus very happy about this i'm not sure if i'm going to enjoy a hummus that comes in a uh, pasteurized and you know kind of tube thing i tend to buy my hummus fresh and usually i get it from either my local shop right that has a very very good variety of hummus or I get it from the Whole Food um, supermarket and this one is whole natural hummus by Wild Garden one pack which is five of those little um, diamond shaped tubes is $4.29 so if you look at it one is an ounce 0.76 so five of them would be about eight ounces and it's $4.29 so it's actually pretty good when it comes to the pricing per uh, weight. This healthy snack is made from chickpeas and many flavorful spices making it both nutritious and delicious. It does not require refrigeration so you can enjoy it on the go. Try it on pita chips, vegetables or even use it as a sandwich spread. Um, yeah, I mean this is roasted garlic which is one of my favorite hummus um, flavor. It's a creamy garbanzo bean dip. Um, they're ready to eat and gluten free. And this one is good to go until April 15, uh, 2015. I don't know if I want to eat hummus that has been uh, placed in a tube that I can use on the go and has such a long expiration date. I would tend to think that hummus is something that you want to eat fresh, kind of like guacamole. Um, so I don't know. I'll try it. It's interesting. I like hummus. Um, hummus to go. That's the name of it. 
I'm always looking for some healthy snack alternatives at work so I don't have to go to the uh, vending machine. So that's probably something I definitely take to work and then I'll report back and let you know. Next products is this chocolate paste with vanilla and this is from Premier Organics and one pouch is a dollar thirty-five. It sounds like a little overpriced for this thing. Um, made from the highest regarded premium cocoa, Eat Choc chocolate is boosted with herbs and a hint of hazelnuts to add flavor. Bask in the aroma of this delicacy while enjoying it on flatbread or toast. So this is 100% cocoa nibs combined with organic hazelnut and organic coconut sugar. Single origin heirloom cocoa creole from Venezuela boosted with Ayurveda herbs. So I'm not sure what this herb does but this is low glycemic index which is pretty good because I had a blood test um, a couple of weeks ago and it showed me as being borderline pre-diabetic so I have to kind of go on a diet and I have to um, get motivated to do that and I was thinking about maybe you let me know if you want me to do like a wellness kind of video on a weekly basis and report how I'm doing on this I'd be more happy to do that because I really need all the motivation I can get I'm a sugar addict and a chocolate addict and it's very very difficult for me uh, right now, just the thought of having to cut down on sugar and chocolate is um, creating great distress. It is. Distributed by Premier Organics, and this is a product of California, USA. It's just expensive. I don't know if I would want to buy this on mine on $1.35. Um, anyway, so, and then there was some, um, you know, the usual assortment of little things. You can receive 15% off your online order at Lauren Brook if you use the code ECHOLOVE if you want to try some of her products. And then this one here is greetings from Good Light if you want to get some of the Good Light um, candles which were made in China. But anyway, if you want to try them out, you get 20% off your next order if you use the code ECHO EMI and that's right uh, and that's right here and it's in capital letters and then there's a coupon here for the hummus dip a um, dollar off when you buy two and this is, has no expiration date so if I really like this hummus and I spot it in my whole food and they have a sale or something like this and I can combine the coupon I probably would get it because remember this is five four dollars something almost five dollars and you get five of them so i think this is actually a pretty good price considering um the amount of hummus but again something that expires a year from now i'm not sure if i want to try it because again usually i try hummus as being as fresh as possible so this was my echo me for february 2014. i was not wobbed by this box and i guess because i got my ipsy bag this month as well and that just told me like overwhelmed me with joy and yeah makeup does that to me so i don't know in comparison because i got this one a little bit afterwards um a couple of days later i was just kind of eh, i don't know i mean i've seen better boxes from echo me this was not a terrible box but there's some items in there that i'm really not like the candles for instance and even like the chocolate thing not sure if that's something that's going to wow me um, but I'll definitely try the hairspray and the mask from Blissoma and the uh, um, lash condition so if you want to know what I thought about all those products and whether or not they made a difference on my skin if I like the taste of uh, any of those just check me out at mygreatchallenge.blogspot.com like subscribe and I'll talk to you later bye